Some years ago, I got hold of this toy. Have a look. A little woodpecker, and if I set it going at the top, it goes all the way down, pecking as it goes. Very simple little toy. It's in fact uh, nothing more than a bit of drilled wood that fits on a steel shank, piece of wire, a spring there, and the weight of the bird there. And it works like this. When the weight of the bird's dragging down, it jams the steel against the hole there. When the weight of the bird springs up again, the whole thing is free to drop, and it does. It drops a little bit until the weight of the bird comes down and jams it. So it goes slide jam, slide jam, slide jam, and it proceeds down the shank like that, pecking as it goes. Well, that's pretty easy to make if you can wind a bit of wire and drill a bit of wood, but you may not be able to. So here's a simpler version you can do with things around the house. First of all, get yourself a coat hanger and make sure the straight bit is really straight. It doesn't work if it's got kinks in it. Cut one end of it about there with your pliers. There we go. And the other end about here. Throw the hooky part away and then bend all of this into a circle so it makes a decent base for the upright part. Well, that's a bit fiddly to do. You can see the way I'm going, but if I finish it, it should end up something like that. A good round base and a straight part for your animal to go down. And in fact, it'll work a lot better if you use a bit of tape and stick it down on the desk. Do be careful of the sharp end. Don't bend over it with your eye. You could uh, spike yourself. As for the bird and the spring, well, that's best done out of a piece of uh, ice cream container. Don't use the lid, it's too floppy. Cut yourself a piece about the size of your little finger, that should do. And if you place that on a block of wood and get a hammer and a nail, you'll need to select a nail which is just about the same diameter as that piece of wire. A tiny bit bigger will help, and that should do the job. And you just place that at one end of the plastic finger, give it a biff so it goes all the way through, then work the plastic around it many times until the hole is nice and clean. And then if you haven't biffed the nail in too far, you'll be able to pull it out and take the plastic off the end. Now check that, that could be a little small. It should slide neatly over that wire and slip down gently like that, it's too tight there, but when you let it go, stay there. Because it's too tight, I just get that nail, work it round a little bit more, enlarging that hole ever so slightly until I get the right result, and I think that'll be about it. It's an easy toy to make, but a bit fiddly. Here we go, over there, slips easily now, but if I let it go, dangles down at about 45 degrees. That should be perfect. Next thing you do is to take it off and trim it. And you cut it from being a square or a rectangular shape into the shape of a clock hand. Down to a point there, turn it over, and do the same, because that part is now going to be your spring. Each one of these ends up slightly differently, so you'll have to test as you go. But about that stage, get a ball of plasticine, about the same size as the end of your finger, and jam it on the end of the clock hand. About there, we're ready to test it. Back on there, and give the plasticine a flick. Well, that's too heavy, you see. It bounces up and down. Well, it's not too bad, but it's pretty ponderous. So let's just shove the plasticine ball in a bit, and that should speed up the action. And you just tune it like this, shoving the plasticine in and out until you're happy with the result. If necessary, trimming the clock hand of plastic a little bit thinner. Here we go. That's probably better. Not quite as ponderous, and bounces up and down well. When you're happy with that, take it off again, clip the bit sticking out like that, Make some notches in the plasticine and stick in whatever you like. Arms, legs, heads, tails, feathers, the whole thing. I've done it here. And in fact, this, instead of being a woodpecker, is my little Australian honey eater. Dances up and down and pecks at the wire, which I suppose is either full of insects or full of nectar. Let's give it a shove and see how it goes. Quite well. You don't have to be stuck with birds. You can if you like make things like monkeys, which will go down that pole with an erratic action all of their own.